Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hey again, ladies. Um, I'm following this up with another question. This one's going to be a little bit more complicated than the first one we went over together, but we're going to work it out the exact same way. <coughs> so I'll read the question first. It asks, and again, this is all from a book called Kaplan. Um, the question asks, calculate the density of neon gas at STP in uh, whatever, grams per liter. The molar mass of neon can be approximated to whatever, 20, degrees, uh, 20 grams per mole, let's say. So anyway, what we want, they're saying calculate what? We want, they're saying they want the density. And we all know that density is equal to mass divided by volume. Okay? Then they're giving us, given, they said, Calculate the density at STP. And STP, when I say STP, I mean standard temperature and pressure. <coughs> so I'm going to say that the temperature then um, is going to be 25 degrees Celsius. <coughs> and the pressure is going to be 1 ATM. Okay? I'm also given, just for kicks, although I could have looked that up myself, but they went ahead and they gave me the molar mass um, of, uh, we're talking about neon gas, so they gave me the molar mass of neon gas, and E, which is equal to, I'm just going to abbreviate 20 grams per mole. Okay. okay. So they want the density, I'm underlining D, okay? And all I have is the temperature and the pressure. So I'm going to go ahead again, I'm going to write down my PV equals nRT, and I'm going to just think about this for a second. <coughs> what I want is mass divided by volume, and there is nothing in this formula that will give me the mass. I mean, there's nothing in this formula that, that is the mass, right? But I do have the volume. And so I'm just going to pretend that I, you know, let's just say that you're not really sure how to proceed. I'm going to want to go ahead and just um, isolate the volume on the bottom of the fraction bar like it should be. So I'm going to want to go ahead and divide both sides by V. And now I'm left with P equals NRT divided by V. Now I don't know if any of you guys can look at this and think ahead. But there is a reason why they gave us the molar mass right here. Okay, the reason why they gave us the molar mass, if you look closely, is molar mass is in grams per mole, right? Now, I want the mass, which would be in grams, right? And the ideal gas equation is actually going to give me the moles. So, if I could just isolate this part of the equation, then could I convert this into the appropriate units for density? The answer is yes, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm actually just going to divide both sides now by RT, and I wind up with, um, sorry, I'm going to put it over here because it's not fitting. I wind up with P divided by RT is equal to N over V, and this is what I want for now. Okay, I'm going to continue on the next page. Sorry, it's not fitting. So, I want N over V, this is the value that I'm looking for, which is similar to density. Density is mass divided by volume. And I can get that <coughs> by dividing pressure by the, um, const by the constant, excuse me, and the temperature. So, P divided by R and T. And now, it's basically just another plug and chug. I'm going to say the pressure is already an ATM, so I'm good to go with that. I'm going to say 1 ATM. R, I already know, <coughs> is just um, 0 0.082 liters per ATM divided by mole per Kelvin. Um, and then the only thing left is here my temperature is in the degree Celsius. So I'm just going to want to do 273 plus 25 gives me 298 Kelvin, and this, by the way, is obviously the um, STP, the standard temperature and pressure. This would be the standard temperature in Kelvin, but I'm just, again, reviewing how to go from Celsius to Kelvin. So, where did the paper go? So, I multiply temperature at the bottom, 298 Kelvin. Okay, and now I get to start canceling out my units.
Um, my ATMs cancel nicely. <coughs> my Kelvins cancel nicely. And because this mole is at the bottom of a fraction bar on a fraction bar, when I get my final answer, it, the moles are going to bounce to the top. So my final answer will be in moles per liter. And again, I'm not working out the math because I just want to work on the procedure with you. N divided by V is equal to some number moles per liter. However, I don't want moles per liter. I want mass over volume. I want grams per liter. So now the next question is, how can I convert moles per liter to grams per liter? And the answer is I simply use the periodic table. And this question, they, you don't even have to look it up because they gave you that information. The molar mass of neon is an, an, a, approximately 20 grams per mole. So here I have moles on top. I'm going to put on the bottom one mole of neon. And then on the top, I'm going to put 20 grams of neon. And that way my moles of neon cancel, and I'm going to wind up with my final answer. I'm going to wind up with some number, which is my density, and the units of density would be in grams per liter. Okay? So again, let's just review <coughs> what we did. The original question was they're asking you to calculate the density of neon gas. Okay, let me actually put a little mini NE here so we know what we're doing. The density of neon gas, um, and it's at standard temperature and pressure, which is 298 Kelvin and 1 ATM. <coughs> and they want the units of this to be in grams per liter. And then they're going ahead and they're throwing you a bone. They're saying, okay, look, I'm going to give you the molar mass of neon. It's 20 grams per mole. So, um, again, when you just look at what I have, um, temperature, pressure, volume, these are... The, the um, variables that we're using to describe a gas, plus they told us it was neon, which is a gas. Um, so we go ahead and we use our PV equals NRT. So the first step is we wrote down what we wanted. We wrote down what we were given. <coughs> I always do that, by the way. I'm really sorry. This molar mass is it. on your paper. This guy should be over here with the given. He's given. Anyway. The second step is we write down our equation PV equals NRT. And I realize that I'm not going to be able to get the answer in one shot. I'm not going to be able to get the density because there is no mass in the ideal gas equation, right? But I can get moles over volume. I can isolate those two variables, one over the other, just by using simple algebra. And then I can worry about converting into the units that I want. So the first thing I did was I basically divided both sides <coughs> by volume, and I divided both sides by um, R and T. And I wound up with uh, the number of moles of neon gas divided by the volume that it occupies is equal to the pressure divided by RT. So this is going to be the formula that I'm going to use. Now we're ready for the third step. <coughs> the third step is just plug everything in after you make sure that the units are correct. We had to play with some of the units here. <coughs> and we did. It was fine. After we made sure all of the units are the way that we wanted them to be, we went ahead and we plugged in the pressure was 1, uh, ATM, and we plugged in our R constant. We plugged in our T as 298 Kelvin. And then we just um, worked it out on calculator, crossed out the variables, yeah, excuse me, crossed out the units that cross out, and we wound up in moles per liter. Now that wasn't good enough. We want grams per liter. So we use the molar mass, because remember, the only way we can convert from moles to grams or from grams to moles is we have to look up the period, we have to look on the periodic table. Okay, so this would be the conversion factor that comes off the periodic table, and we cancel out our moles, and we are left with gram, some number of grams per liter, and that would be your final answer. And actually, I do have the answer written here, it's in the book. So for those of you who want to work it out and check and make sure that your math is correct, um, the answer is about 0 0.9 grams per liter. So 0 0.9 is around what you should get. <coughs> okay. All right, that's that. We'll try to, I'll try to find more problems and make more little clips if I can figure out how to stop this video. Bye.